First at 530, transportation advocates and Ripta riders voicing their concerns over a controversial plan to create an underground bus tunnel at Kennedy Plaza. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us in studio with the details new at 530. Steve? Well, Mike Shannon, for the last several years, Rideout has been trying to figure out the best way to spend $35 million that voters asked the department to use to rebuild Providence transit locations. But riders today said this is not the right step to take. Public transit riders stand together against RIDOT's new proposal. This is a misuse of the funds. Uh, it's a lot of money to spend on something that's not going to have a positive impact on using transit. Earlier this month, RIDOT unveiled a new approach to improve transit safety and congestion concerns. It would create several hubs around Providence instead of just one main hub at Kennedy Plaza. Plus, the bus routes in Kennedy Plaza would be dug underground so pedestrians could walk without bus traffic. It's very early in the process. Governor Gina Raimondo said they still want to hear feedback from the community. We have a lot of work to do to make it easier for people to commute to work by bus, and so that's what this new plan is designed to do. It's a distraction. It's a fire that needs to be put out. John Flaherty with the RI Transit Riders said they're against the proposal because they believe it'll make busing more complicated and time consuming. We have this one chance now to get it right and we can't be diverted by something that is a uh um, that is not going to have an, a good impact on transit. In a statement Thursday, RIDOT defended the proposal but added, if the pedestrian overpass presents a challenge to RIDOT's $35 million bus sub project budget or schedule, or if additional engineering analysis presents any unforeseen conditions, i.e. groundwater, soils, utilities, that make it unfeasible, then the pedestrian overpass will be eliminated from the project. Now, a spokesperson for RIDOT said they plan to put the proposal out for bidders in the fall. Riders today told me that's too soon. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.